Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hey, I'm Cassie, and welcome to my channel. So, um, today's, if you notice the background behind me, um, usually I'd be in my dorm, but I'm on winter break still, so I'm actually at home. So, I'm like sitting in my dining room, chilling, and filming a video today for you. I was actually going to film this for you tomorrow, but... Uh, because of the threat of inclement weather happening where I am, I might actually have to return to school uh, tomorrow, um, like to go back to my dorms early because I go to classes, classes start for me on Monday. So I don't know if that's going to happen, so I decided to film this today. But pretty much this video is going to be a college versus high school, if you saw the thumbnail. And I just wanted to do that as a, you know, everybody's back to school, holidays are over, and so I wanted to do that whole kind of versus thing just so you guys can notice the difference. I am going to mention one um, kind of similarity. It's not at the end, um, kind of a reflection over my uh, first semester of college, and I don't want to scare you guys with that because it is pretty serious, but I just wanted to mention it, but it's going to be towards the end, and it's five differences so let's get started the first difference is the babying of course is dialed down and just so you know a lot of these are just going to be kind of obvious because you know it's college and yeah <laughs> so pretty much um the, like i said the, the first one is that the babying factor is going to go down um what i mean by that is that when you're in high school, you get babied a lot, especially at least in your freshman year. Um, you were baby to a point to where, because you're 14 or maybe 13 going in, or whatever age, I guess depending if I have international viewers watching this, but um, and you guys start differently. But uh, mostly in America, it's like you're either 13 or 14, kind of moving into freshman year of high school. And because you're that age, you were kind of babied a lot in that retrospect because people want you to kind of you know get a move on high school and you're not quite adults yet so you have to you're still a kid so you're kind of getting a move on to how high school is like how life is like and how life is starting to get harder while in college it's different because you're 18 or some of you may be 17 um or maybe younger depending on where you go to college um in what country or whatever and you might experience you know getting a move on to life but the baby factor is gone because you're now starting to become adults you're now starting your own life this is the pathway to getting a job become paying your own bills doing whatever you can to make a life for yourself so of course everything is just gonna be different and college the everybody at college knows that and that's why the baiting factor is just, you know, going to go down. Um, Alright, so the second difference I'm going to mention is, of course, the work is going to be harder. Um, I don't know. Of course, the work in high school compared to college is harder. But everybody in high school may be like, okay, no, work is pretty hard in high school. And I can understand that. I used to be in high school at a time because I'm a freshman in college. Now I'm going into my second semester on Monday. So... College, high school work was pretty hard, but going to college, I can look back on um, high school and can fully say that work in college is harder just because I remember taking midterms and taking finals and that I spent, in the, going to the library, I spent maybe 12 or more hours in the library studying, doing papers, doing projects, kind of finishing, wrapping that up because that time is hard. And also, I have more classes now than I did in high school as well. So, it's it's of course, it's going to be harder, but at the same time, it's challenging you to make a life for yourself because once you leave college, you're either going to more schooling, like graduate school, or you're getting a job. You're starting your life. If undergrad school is, you know, your stopping point and you're just getting a bachelor degree, then you're done. Or in this case, if you're going to community college and you're just getting an associate's degree and that's all you need, then you're done with that. Then, you know, that's all you need. Then, hey, that's over. But work is harder in college. I just, and you have to work hard as well to keep up with how the pace is. Because 
I don't know how many people were complaining about how they couldn't keep up with the pace and how they were getting bad grades, but they weren't working as hard. So, you know, you have to work hard in order to keep up with how hard the work is, if you get what I'm saying. All right, so the third difference I want to mention is the expense in college is obviously more than high school. In high school, you were pretty much spending a lot, um, not that much, but probably your senior year you'll spend a lot, and I have a video about that. I'll link it up here about my high school experience, if any high school seniors are maybe watching this. But um, pretty much the expense uh, in high school is not that much. For high school seniors specifically, there are the expense of like cap and gowns and maybe gas or maybe tickets for games or stuff like that. But for college, it's a lot more you are getting, if especially if you're not going to community college, you, if you're going to like a four-year university where you need to move in like I am, um, then you are paying for tuition because, you know, college is, high school is free, college is not. You are paying for bedding, you are paying for utensils, you are paying for a mini fridge because, you know, you got to have food in your room, right? You also are paying for food. If you are going to not eat that dining food, then you're paying for going out to eat all the time, or you may be walking out, because my university is, like, in a downtown area, so we can walk down to restaurants and stuff to eat. Um, you may be paying for entertainment purposes, like going to the movies. Th there's a lot of stuff you're paying for, and um, you're also paying for books, and, like, books aren't, are not free in college either, like they are in high school. So, College is a lot more expensive than it is in high school, so you have to remember that when you're going, you know, from point A to point B, it's it's just more expensive. You have to face that fact. You have to make sure you manage your money, right? Or you're not going to, or you're going to, like, you know, overspend or run out of money because, you know, you have to pay for tuition as well. And tuition, depending on what college you go to, whether if it's a community college or if you're going to a four-year university, it's expensive and you have to make sure you get that done. All right, so the fourth difference I want to make about college versus high school, the events. So pretty much the events. Um, they are, the events are very limited in high school than they are in college. In high school, you mostly have, like, school dances, and you maybe have some events, like, I know some high schools maybe do, like, car washes or fundraisers and stuff to, like, hype up money and get some money for other events or for other dances and stuff. College, there's, like, an event, not, not every week, I don't want to say that, but, like, there's an event mostly, I want to say... Um, mostly all the time, um, there's usually, like, a really cool event you get to go to, there's a dance, there are dances in college, there are, like, you know, clubs, clubs do events as well, so that's pretty cool, I went to a club, um, there's, like, an international, um, club at my college, and they had a Latin night, and they brought in Latin, um, professional dancers and we all got to do the some latin dances like the salsa the merengue it was really fun and everybody got to do it and it was really cool we had to have like different international foods and you know it's really cool to do certain events like that and you know different clubs can do certain events like that the school can put on different events like dances or fundraisers or anything like that and college will have more events than you know high schools, and at events, you can get more t-shirts, you know, and events like games as well can also count as going and having fun and everything, plus some events do count for school credit, so that's pretty fun as well, <laughs> and the last, the fifth and last difference I want to met, I want to mention is the, uh, your free time is very limited in college, um, in high school, it's much more broadened so what I want to make is that like pretty much in high school you're only there for like eight hours a day and then you get to go home and you do some of your homework and then you're done and then you just can chill out and go hang out with friends or do whatever in college you have probably you may have more classes you have a lot more work to do you also have to do your laundry. All of that is on campus. Well, if you're going to like a four year university, if you're going to community college, then you're doing all that at home. But it's still it's still limited because you still have to do your work. You still have to drive to the school back and forth every day. And it's really, really 
process. It's really, really back and forth. And, you know, my free time is very limited. I had a lot of free time at the beginning of the semester just because I didn't have a lot of homework in my classes yet. By mid-semester, my free time was not limited. Limited as heck because I had midterms. I didn't know I had midterms, but I had midterms. And then I had to study for that. I had to pack all my stuff up. I had to start doing all my stuff. I had a break. I had to condense all my time up. And then by the end of the semester, I was just done kind of with school. And I had to uh, study for finals. I was in the, I was in the library for, more, for 12 hours or more a day, each day, studying, doing papers, doing projects, because all that centers around the same time. I had to also pack all at the same time to get ready for winter break, because after finals, I had to move out for winter break. So it was all pretty much condensed, and that's also why I didn't get a really chance to film um, over the past semester, because my free time was so limited. So it it's pretty like momentary to when you realize that your free time is very limited you have to make sure you find time though for yourself to have free time because if you don't then you're just gonna run and run and run and run and then you're just gonna be all fizzled out and not gonna have any time at all for yourself and so that's all i have to say on differences for college and like i said at the beginning of the video there is one similarity i do want to mention um, and like I said, I don't want to scare you guys with this, but the drama is, I don't want you guys to have any drama in college. Try your best to stay true to yourself. Try your best not to get into pettiness or fights and anything with drama because that happened to me and it was terrible. And I, I let it kind of combine into my whole first semester and I didn't want that to happen because... I thought, oh, hey, maybe that will be different. No drama in college because we're all adults. Yeah, no, there was drama in college. That was pretty much one similarity that happened throughout the whole semester. And I thought, I thought this was going to be different. But it wasn't. That kind of scared me. But I don't want it to scare you guys. Try to make your best happen in college if you were going to college. If you're not going to college but you're just watching this as inspiration, as going to college soon then I hope you guys will have fun and when you do go to college if you need any recommendations I do have a college admissions process video I will also link it up here um, but I hope you do guys realize that college is fun if you make it fun like I said stay true to yourself make sure you're not you're having like a good time and you're not fizzling yourself out with too many projects have fun but don't have too much fun to where you're not doing your schoolwork because like i said high school's free but college isn't and you don't want to be paying all this money and not you know experiencing what you were there to experience your education not partying and doing all of this because i saw a lot of people do that a couple kids even got kicked out for it so you don't want to do that you know but yeah, that is it, guys, um, for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, like I said, I'm not. I don't consider myself a YouTuber. This is just for you guys because I love. I actually like doing this. It's pretty fun. So, but if you want to subscribe, that'd make me happy. So you can hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I heard YouTube's been doing this funky thing to where it's not letting people know about subscriptions, like letting know about videos in your subscription box so if you do subscribe also hit that bell that's next to it so you can be notified of notifications for my videos and also if you want to you can follow me on instagram and twitter i will have those links down below in the description box but thank you guys again for watching i hope you guys have a great time at school if you're already at school because i know a couple people are at or in already in high school, back to school already, or already in college already. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a great time, and I'll see you in the next one.